Most brands get this wrong, but if you can do this one simple thing, it's going to make scaling your Facebook ads way easier. What's up marketers? Today's video is going to be all about how to scale your Facebook ads the easy way. And if you can watch, understand, and act on everything in this video, then you're going to be able to scale a lot easier than 95% of all brands on the meta platform or Facebook ads platform. But before we get into the heart of the video, I would really like to ask you guys a favor. And I don't ask for many favors favors on this channel. In fact, I've created over 130 videos on YouTube over the last two and a half years. So if you guys could do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel, it would help me out a lot because that sends the right signals to YouTube that I'm doing something right. And I want to continue making videos for you guys every single week like I've been doing for the last two years. So if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now let's get into scaling. Something that often surprises new media buyers or new business owners is that there are actually only two ways to scale on Facebook ads if you really think about it. The first way is vertical scaling. So this is the type of scaling that most people think of, which is when you start to increase the budget on a campaign or ad set. This is what we call vertical scaling, right? Because we are literally increasing the spend upwards. The second way that you can scale your Facebook ads is what I like to call horizontal scaling. And this is simply scaling by adding new campaigns or adding new ad sets that have an additional budget. So maybe you have one campaign that is spending $50 a day. What if you added another campaign that was also spending $50 a day? You are technically scaling your Facebook ads account. Typically for brands, brands that are beginning to scale on Facebook ads, you're going to be doing a combination of both. So if you are getting creative winners, you're going to be scaling those up. And as you are testing new creatives and adding new ad sets so that you can throttle specific spend to those ad sets, you are going to be horizontally scaling by adding budgets to those new campaigns or ad sets. How many times can I say ad sets? <laughs> So oftentimes the question that I get is, okay, Dara, which type of scaling should I do? And this is ultimately going to depend on if you have creative winners or not. So simply, if you have creative winners that are working in your account, what I would suggest you do is to not overcomplicate this and simply increase the budget on that ad set or that campaign that is currently profitable for you. And really the best way to vertical scale is something that's been pretty consistent in our industry for the last few years, which is to increase your budget by 20% every two to three days. Now this tends to not throw things out of balance. It tends to not trigger the learning phase, which can be important or it can not be important. I've also seen brands simply double their spend or even triple their spend on a certain campaign or ad set and they're totally fine. So it's really about evaluating what kind of risk tolerance you have. So if you have a really low risk tolerance and you're really trying to have the safest, most efficient scale as possible, once you notice that you have a creative winner and you're profitable for your Facebook ads campaign or your ad set, that's when I would start to increase your budget by 20% every two to three days as long as you have profitable results coming from that ad set or campaign. Now, if you're a little confused about this Facebook ad structure and about how to set up your ad set or your campaign, I have a video for people who are new to the Facebook ads platform and maybe are operating at smaller budgets. And here you're going to see exactly how I would set up a Facebook ads campaign. So actually, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this is essentially what it looks like, right? One campaign, we have two ad sets. And when you go in here, you can see that we have three different ads and each of the ads are the same here. Now, this is just what I would do to start off with if you are brand new to the Facebook ads platform. So I would start off with a broad ad set and I would start off with an interest stack. Now, if you realize, hey, this broad ad set with those creatives are actually doing a lot better than this interest stack, then I would go ahead and turn the interest stack off. And what I would do there is, okay, now we're able to scale. So we can go ahead and go to this budget and start to scale by 20% every few days. Now, what I would do then is if you are continuing to see good results out of that, you might want to add in another creative to test. So what I would do is I would duplicate this and I would be sure to actually test all your creative on broad. Now, the reason why you would want to test your creative on a broad ad set, so that is an ad set that has open targeting, maybe some parameters on demographics like gender or age if it's really important to your brand. So no 
no lookalike targeting, no interest targeting. Because ultimately, if a creative can get good results on a broad ad set, then that means that it's actually the most scalable. So it's going to have the most broad appeal to a big audience. So what I would do is I would be like, okay, now we have a new creative test, right? And I would go ahead and have that new ad set in there and I would simply put in your new creatives in there. So I would go over here and then, you know, delete these, but then add your new creative test right in there. And really what you're going to be doing then as you're starting to scale is doing a combination of horizontal and vertical scaling until you hit the most profitable point of your business on meta ads, which spoiler alert, there kind of is no cap as long as you have a great product and you continue to innovate in your marketing. The number one biggest mistake I find for brands that are starting to scale on Facebook ads is they completely forget the creative equation. Now you have to increase your creative production or the amount of creatives that you're testing in your ad account to continue to scale. On average, I find that if an ad is a winner on the meta platform, you're only really going to get traction out of it for one to three months tops. Now there are some unicorn ads that can spend for six months, even up to a year. I do have a client that is running and winning on a two year long creative, like, wow, that was a different era, but that is not very common. You really do have to inject your Facebook ads account with as much creative as possible for your budget. So if you are operating at a smaller budget, then yeah, you're probably going to be wanting to launch a creative test once every two weeks or once every other week. But if you are starting to spend 20K to 50K to 100K per month, you're really going to want to be launching one to two creative tests every single week. And that's it. I think the thing about scaling Facebook ads is that actually scaling it is easy and actually scaling it in the ad account is simple but the hardest thing to do is to dive into your customer research and actually figure out the creatives that are going to speak to them that actually help your brand account to scale and that's the thing that is really hard to talk about so i would suggest mining your customer reviews or going through your customer reviews going through your five star reviews going through your worst reviews and really figuring out the benefits and features and the golden nuggets that your customers are saying about your brand and bringing those right to the front and featuring them in your ad creative content because that often tends to be the type of creative that wins the best and actually creates the most scalable ads you cannot scale a facebook ads account without continuously innovating on your creative end cap period that's where this video ends i will see you guys next week.